Today's guest is one of the original supermodels. She's graced the cover of more than 500 magazines and was the first black model on the front of Vogue and Time. And everyone has something to say about her. Um, timeless. Beautiful. Sexy. Very confident. She's the best supermodel. This is Linda. Nice person. Beauté fatale. And she made a big difference for African American women. Veramente carina. She's always beautiful. Très belle jambe. She's worked with Bob Marley, Will Smith, and Madonna. Her ex boyfriends include Robert De Niro and Mike Tyson. She's here in Cannes with her charity Fashion for Relief, which is hosting a celebrity catwalk show to raise money. Let's go and meet Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell, hello. Hi. Can you describe your mission with Fashion for Relief for us? It's not a mission, it's a collaboration of everyone coming together and wanting to do something that makes a difference, that can help children have an education and learn a skill. If you had a magic wand, what would you change in the world? I'd put children definitely first in helping them, bring, taking them in and guiding them for a better future than what they've come from. You spent time um, at a refugee camp in Jordan earlier this year. Can you tell us about someone you met there? I met many people there. I met a wonderful group of mothers who you know, support each other when their children go into kindergarten or preschool that would you know, keep each other's hopes up and strengths. And I met one family where a little girl stopped talking because she was just so terrified and scarred by hearing bombs drop all the time and I saw how the kindergarten slowly opened her up and she began to start to speak again. I also saw a little girl who was worried about her uncle who had died and why that they will be taken back to Syria and she was extremely bright and um, I thought I think she's definitely going to be something she just wants to learn and I met a boy who um, had three jobs and wanted to learn as much more skills as he could. He, when I was there, he was learning how to cut hair, become a barber. So that would be his fourth job. Um, whose dream is to build a home for his whole family. Uh, Nelson Mandela described you as his honorary granddaughter for all the work you did with him. Well, what was that like? When he gave me that title, we had done a press conference in Johannesburg, and that's, after that is when he sent me out to the field and to different townships in South Africa and to different countries. And I didn't quite understand it all then, um, but going out to the field, didn't, I wasn't prepared for what I would see and how I would feel. So I got, to, you know, I learned as I went along. But his words echo with me till this very day. I feel even more so that because he's not lo no longer here with us, President Mandela, that I want to do these things and keep my word to honour to him. It's a tense time in the world. I saw you posted um, a photo of President Macron, the new um, president of France, and the youngest president we've ever had. What's more important, do you think, experience or energy? I think right now, energy. I think to be in touch with the people that you represent and what they want is what's important. You were the first black model on the front cover of lots of different magazines like over a quarter of a century ago. Do you think diversity in the fashion industry has improved since then? It's improving. I um, still have to remind a certain few when choosing models and castings. I um, still feel that in the advertising front it would be nice that black models and models of, di of all shades of colour will be paid equally and given the same opportunity in that way. And you were one of the original um, supermodels. Do you feel nostalgic about that time now when you look back? Um, I feel proud of that time to be with such a great group of ladies and to be able to still call them like friends and family till this day and to be in touch with them all. I read that um, you say your prayers every morning and every night. Mm -hmm. What does Naomi Campbell pray for? I'm grateful to be here. I'm grateful for you know, the blessings that I've had in my life. I'm grateful to be able to do something with myself and what I've become to help other people and the people that I have in my life that support me mentally. What do you feel most proud of? 
Not really. I just, I'm someone I just keep going. I never have time to really stop and think. Like, I just, my motivation is just to keep going forward. How do you think your friends would describe you? I don't know. You have to ask my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your best friend, then? I've got many different people in my life um, from all different walks of life. I have a friend of mine who's a housewife of 30 years with two kids that's a, like a real soundboard to me. She's very practical and the things she tells me she has nothing to do with our business. I've got Christy Turnington, who I've known since I was 16, my first roommate. Kate Moss that I met a few years later. Linda. These people have always stayed in my life and been there for me. Um, they have a sixth sense about me. If something's not right, they'll reach out and vice versa with me, with them. That's Edward fashion. Enenfall, who's like a brother to me. Fashion and cinema go hand in hand. They do. Fashion, cinema and music. Johnny Versace always said that and he was so ahead of his time when he said it. Do you have a favourite cinematic moment? I think my first time in Cannes was so, I was just like, oh my God, wow, this is amazing. It was overwhelming and just spectacular. It was the real like dream of a festival or just going to a movie that I ever could imagine. How old were you then? 24. Okay. All right, Naomi Campbell, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.